Hello, Relatively Refined fans. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to share with you a thrift haul, but it's not your typical thrift haul. Today, I'm going to share with you some things that I have found thrifting that I plan to use for gifts, whether Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, just, you know, love gifts, friendship gifts, whatever it might be. But I thought since we're going into yard sale season, it might be good to start thinking about things that you see out as you're thrifting or yard sailing and how you might be able to use those as gifts for Christmas or for whatever. And lest you think that thrifting gifts means you've got to give somebody some beat up old used stuff that nobody wants, I'm here to tell you that's not the case at all. So let's jump into this haul and I will share with you thrifted gift ideas. All right, I'm gonna be reaching around to grab some of the things that I've got here, but um, let me just start out with this first item. I actually found this today, believe it or not. And this is um, a little Ray Dunn salt and pepper um, combo. They're little canisters. It still has the original tag. It still actually has the original TJ Maxx tag on the back, which you might be able to see there. And I paid $2.99 for this. And it's in perfect shape with a tag still on it. And I'm going to set this aside in my little gift closet. And if I need a gift for somebody or um, one of my kids needs a teacher gift or something like that, I've got this. I also found these adorable little bowls. They have cherries on them. They're a set of two. They're red on the inside. And they have these really cute little cherries on the sides. And again, still with the unused tag on there and the ribbon. Perfect little love gift, hostess gift, teacher gift, whatever. Found this for $1.99 at Goodwill. Again, new in box. <laughs> Here is the box. And let me take out what's inside. It is actually, I'll hold this up. It's a set of three bowls. They're Christmas bowls, so these would have to be a Christmas gift, but they're adorable. There's holly leaves and holly berries on them. And there's a set of three, and they're nesting bowls. You can see that they fit right there inside each other. Great gift. And here's the Goodwill tag still on there, $4.99 for that. So $5, and you've got a wonderful gift in a box with a bow. So you really can't beat that. Um, let's see. Also, still with the original packaging, I found these oil and vinegar cruets. Oh, actually, it says oil and vinegar on both sides, so it doesn't matter. I thought I had them backwards, but I don't. They are still, they still have their original tag and still have their original sticker from TJ Maxx. And these were just on the shelf at Goodwill for $2.99. So you package this up with a nice bottle of olive oil or some fancy vinegar, stick it in a basket or just wrap it in cellophane with a bow and you've got a great gift for, you know, under $10. You really can't beat that. All right. This is adorable too. This still has its original, uh, well, actually I washed this off, but um, this had a tag from TJ Maxx and it's this super cute little cake stand. The base is white, uh, blue with white polka dots. And then the top has this gingham napkin over it's it's ceramic you know but it looks like it's kind of hanging over the edge of this cake stand it is so precious you could give a cake you could make a loaf of pumpkin bread banana bread a pie a, a homemade cake and bring it over to a friend for her, his or her birthday and leave the cake stand with it you got a great gift um again just a few dollars you know so it doesn't have to be junk that nobody wants is, I guess, my point here. Um, let me share a few other things that I found that will also be gifts. Now, these are not brand new in packages, um, and they don't have the original tags, but beautiful things nonetheless. 
this gorgeous um, lead crystal bowl. It's cut glass, absolutely beautiful, or cut crystal, I guess. And this was $2.99 at Goodwill. And here again, you could fill this with fruit. You could fill it with any kinds of little goodies that you want to put in there. Tie a bow around it, wrap it in cellophane. It's a gorgeous gift. I found this beautiful um, Orifers crystal, I think that's Swedish crystal, candle holder. You would put a votive in there. And it looks, to me, it looks like a, um, a water lily. We used to go to this place when I was a little girl called Emerald Lake in East Dorset, Vermont, where I grew up. And you had to walk on this path before you got to where you went swimming. And there was water, like a little river, I guess you'd say. It was kind of more stagnant than running, but it was moving. And it was full of beautiful water lilies, just gorgeous. And I think this is beautiful. And you could, you could put a, a votive in there, wrap it in cellophane, tie a bow around it, and beautiful, beautiful gift. Um, I, I feel like it, I went bowl crazy. I don't know. I seem to be finding a lot of bowls lately at Goodwill that I can use for gifts. And you can, it's great because it's, it's a container that you can put something in a homemade goodie, um, you know, a Christmas ornament, whatever. And then you can leave the container as well. So this is a beautiful Lennox Christmas bowl. And it has this gorgeous cardinal on it. I loved it. And inside it says home is where the heart is on the inside of the bowl. Just beautiful. And it has this gold detail around the top. Absolutely beautiful bowl. And, you know, again, at Christmas time, you could put some homemade cookies in there or candies and wrap it up with cellophane and you've got a gorgeous gift. Let me see. Something else that I love to collect and are wonderful containers for gifts are tins. This tin was 59 cents at Goodwill. It's just a metal tin. I loved it because it actually is a library. I'm sure the glare is, is probably impossible to see. But anyway, this is the front of a library and it says public library there. And I thought this was so cute and would be adorable, filled with somebody's favorite tea, you know, or a special Christmas tea. And you give this with some homemade cookies and you can't go wrong with that for 99 cents. So here again, just, you know, as you're going to yard sales or you're at the Goodwill, um, just check the shelves and see there may be some things there that are new in box, or if they're not new in box, they're beautiful items that you could repurpose as containers for homemade goodies or, you know, candles or whatever. And you've got some gorgeous gift ideas and gift options that are not going to break the bank. And they are absolutely beautiful on a budget. And let's see, the last couple of things I want to share with you actually I think might end up being gifts for someone, but they are these really gorgeous, they're just white coffee mugs. There are four of them, they're false graph, but in, the inside is absolutely beautiful. It is this, they look like raspberries maybe and there are blackberries, they're black and white, and it's the farmer's market pattern and I looked online and they don't make this anymore. It's a discontinued pattern. And all I found were these four white cups. And to me, they reminded me of a high-end hotel or like a French cafe where you might have your cafe au lait in one of these. But um, again, there's a set of four of them. And even though they are not new and they're not in a package, you could certainly wrap them up and give them with some hot cocoa mix or a, a pound of coffee or, or whatever. But I think that they are so beautiful. And then let's see. Oh, and then I found a set of four more mugs, which I also am thinking maybe somebody <laughs> affiliated with this channel would probably like. Um, I, I thought of my sister Kathy actually when I found these. And these are, um, there are four cups, no saucers, but they are so mid century. And actually, let me put on my glasses. They're Franciscan and the pattern is um, Syracuse China. Jack straw is the pattern. And I just thought that was so awesome. 
and I found, um, again, I found a set of four of them. What a great gift for somebody that, you know, just loves that mid-century look. I think they're so cool. So that wraps up my haul for today of thrifted gift options. And again, I really want to emphasize that it doesn't mean giving somebody junk that no one wants. Their shelves at Goodwill and yard sales in different places are full of beautiful items that just need to be maybe repackaged or repurposed and they make wonderful gifts. And this is one way that you can help make your life beautiful on a budget using thrifted gifts. All right, everybody, take care. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, do you thrift your gifts? What's the best thing you've ever thrifted and given as a gift? I'd love to know. All right. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps our channel out and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.